Now, by the way, rolling over starts to present at two and a half to three months, not five months, not six months. So again, when, when a baby is late doing these things, they're heavier, they are longer, their proportions are already starting to change because at six and a half months, they should be coming to sitting, right? And, and someone's still working on the rolling over stuff. And again, now we have to do it. This is the hardest part about being a parent. Nobody thought in the, in the wildest dreams we'd even have to teach our kids tummy time, rolling over all of these things. And especially, this is what I was just teaching for three days. We never thought we'd have to teach our children to see, right? Because people don't realize that vision and the movements really are all synchronized. And so when they become in pieces and parts, so you should have, again, a baby's like here, here, here playing. Oh, guess what? I see something and boom, I'm just going right into rolling over, right? Because of all of these things happening. What are my warning signs? This, where's my vision? I can't see you. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get, uh, like move my feet all the way over and this is where I tell people the child has a heavy head. Why? Because you're moving all around this head trying to get up. What's another warning sign? That a baby can lay here and actually look at 90 degrees. That vision is always with the pubic bone. Always. I don't care if you're a professional ball player, and that's why you're professional, because the vision is always with the pubic bone. Yes, adults can kind of do this when we're driving a car, maybe, but really, if you want it, right? So when I see a baby do this, do this, do this, when that vision gets away from the pelvis, again, another warning sign. When a child is stressed out moving, I don't want to hear my baby hates tummy time, hates rolling over, they cry all the time, right? First, we have to rule out medical, maybe there's reflux. When a child, especially when they've been in the car seat too long, and this is why overuse of car seat's a problem, because the gas doesn't move around well anymore in their body. When you're at a 33 degree angle in a car seat, it is really hard to eliminate your gas, right? So the air bubbles rise right around the belly. Now you take a baby out, right? And they're just like, ah, you know, because these gas bubbles go to move, right? And this is where babies prefer to be in a swing or a car seat is because it keeps the gas from moving around. But they tend to be then more constipated and all that. And again, they're not moving. Rolling over really also shouldn't have a stop or a go, right? If I'm rolling over like this, I didn't go to my belly, but then I can come back. I can start doing all these kind of movements. I'm going in and out. That's why they call it rolling over. So even when you're saying that it's only happening to the right, the child's not rolling. The child's really going from prone to supine, supine, prone. So, but in, in this position too now, so, so I'm starting to play, I'm in tummy time. What should be happening here? Already my nose should be able to cross midline. See, it's like a pre-crawl, right? And so when I see kids like this with tummy time or head down, butt up, again, those are already warning signs that rolling over is going to be very labored or maybe not happen. What happens when a baby doesn't roll over again in, in proportion, right, it's two and a half to three months when they're here playing, right, what do they start doing? I see this a lot. Again, heavy head. My head comes back. Where's my pubic bone to my eyes? I can't see you, right? And now I'm falling into position, right? Or I'm falling to my back. That's not rolling over. If I'm here, I suddenly see you, and guess what? See, I'm just coming in and out of it. It really, but my eye can be looking at you the whole time, right? And that is really what rolling over is. So just because a baby goes from their belly to their back or to their back to the belly doesn't mean it's rolling over. In lots of cases, I see them falling out of position. A fall should not be happening whatsoever at this stage in the game. Babies don't fall. Babies are capable of falling, but they don't fall. That's why you pick them up and they do this airplane and so forth in your arms, you know, and, and, and they can move while you're doing that. The floor is not that important. It is, but when you're taking a baby and taking it from your arms to the crib, right, they're still in this lying pose, what I call the absolute horizon. There's no startle, there's no, and you can put them in the crib and you can pick them up again. 
Again, these are telltale signs. If this is difficult for you to do, guess what? For them to, to go over to their bellies, right? That that startle, that 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 uncomfortable, however you want to put it, is continued in their system. And that's what you're looking for, right? So with here again, it's not the act per se of rolling over. You have to look at how your baby is transitioning. Are they transitioning in and out of tummy time? Are they transitioning from your arms into the crib and back again? There's these little things, right? And what we start saying, oh, they're colicky or they spit up more. Uh, they're spitting up also too, cause almost like a motion sickness, right? That you would get, you know, uh, Felipe and I just went on the roller coaster uh, on Thursday at Universal. So let me tell you, you know, you, you don't realize, I get it that it's not that drastic or severe, but it can be as far as your nervous system goes. So when, when a child just is not presenting with the right movements, please guys, it's not your child's personality. It's for whatever reason, these movements are not making sense in their system, and that's what we're here for. But nothing's gonna happen if you don't at least try a video, right? The videos are there to help you. They're there to guide you. They're not there to show you what's wrong per se. They're show you just saying that these little movements, and yes, if you're finding it difficult, your child's finding these movements difficult, and that's where you just have to have a bit more patience. And, and again, try not to fixate on the act of rolling over. Try to fixate and just realize, oh yeah, when he's playing, he's really not doing that. Start doing those kind of little videos on the spine, right? So they can sit there and just play, right? Because again, these are little things, even here where I'm reaching you, right? Those are like little, the, the big, see how I'm countering with my feet? Those, but if I'm here trying to get you, you know what I mean? And, oh and I don't like being on my side, those are, again, I don't like, I hate, a grumpy, fussy, all of those kind of things. There's something going on because when they are fighting a movement, they find it very difficult or uncomfortable. And in a baby's language, that's the same, right? But a baby really should be here. The head sort of floats. All of these things are starting to happen. And, and that's what you need. So, we're not here to frustrate you. We're here to give you guidance. And that's what you need to start looking at for your baby. Thanks.